Tonight at 11, Cleveland city leaders are calling for action after rampant illegal fireworks use played a role in stepped up 4th of July violence across the city. City reports 21 people were shot last night. That includes three homicides in the span of several hours. Last night's events were absolutely shocking to me as well as the residents of this community. Now that violent holiday has city leaders reacting, wondering what could have been done to further reduce gun violence and the illegal fireworks use. News 5 investigator Joe Pakanakis responded, taking residents' complaints to City Hall in search of some answers. Things have just spun out of control. They actually lootly went haywire. Volunteers had to collect more than a dozen bags of trash and debris, the aftermath of an illegal July 4th fireworks party that took place without approval on the property of Second Calvary Missionary Baptist Church on Emory Avenue on Cleveland's west side. These are some of the fireworks that we had to clean up our staff, not only the fireworks, but also the alcohol. Pastor Keto March says the illegal fireworks party continued past midnight and spiraled into violence and illegal activity. Alcohol and the fighting, and there was even a couple of cases where there were actually dice being shot on the church property. And then Cleveland police reported 1.15 a.m. things went from bad to worse with three people shot just two doors down from the church. Fireworks debris everywhere. The entire street shut down for hours. Individuals who were shot last night were not even residents of the west side. And so for me as a pastor, for me as a community leader, that's very disheartening for me. Fireworks are not legal in Cleveland. They continue not to be legal. Ward 11 Cleveland Councilman Brian this Mooney believes the city didn't get the job done. With city 4th of July stats showing 21 people shot, three homicides, and 226 complaints to police for illegal fireworks. Cleveland fire stats were no better, with more than 300 July 4th fire calls, seven structure fires, 19 grass and landscaping fires, including this widespread grass fire off West 25th near Metro Hospital. The city needs to do a better job of getting the message out and we need some enforcement. Cleveland police are still searching for suspects in the triple shooting on Emory Avenue. Meanwhile, Mooney says residents must also play a role in slowing Cleveland gun violence and illegal fireworks use. Education to the citizens that just because the state of Ohio legalized it, fireworks are not legal in Cleveland and we've got to send the message out that they won't be tolerated here. And Cleveland Mayor Justin Bibbs administration responded immediately to our story here at Cleveland City Hall on the 13 separate shooting incidents that took place on July 4th evening, saying detectives are continuing to conduct interviews and are hoping anyone with information will contact Crime Stoppers at 21625 Crime or report illegal fireworks activity. Reporting right here at Cleveland City Hall, I'm News 5 investigator Joe Paganakis. Okay, we did reach out to Cleveland police multiple times for an on-camera interview. We were given a series of statements instead that read in part, quote, the acts of violence we experienced over the July 4th holiday are unacceptable and shocking. Lives were lost. Many more experienced gunshot wounds that will impact victims and their families forever. We must work collaboratively to end violence. Again, as Joe mentioned, Cleveland police are asking anyone with information on any of these shootings overnight to contact investigators Anonymous information can be provided. Here's the number again, Crime Stoppers 216-25-CRIME.